Hello again. So, uh, User Productivity Kit, or UPK. Uh, this is actually a site where you can go and kind of familiarize yourself with the PeopleSoft environment. Uh, the, the address to the site is, you'll see here, it's listed as IP address. They haven't put, in, put a name, a domain name on it. But it's 205.138.175.183 slash UPK. Um, and what this, what this site gives you is kind of a glimpse of what a general uh, PeopleSoft environment setup is like with the, with the pillars that we have purchased. So that's the human capital management pillar, the campus solutions pillar, and the finance uh, pillar. Uh, it also includes uh, some information on the portal uh, that, that comes with PeopleSoft. Um, so it covers kind of all these different areas. But like I said, it's a general setup at this point. So it's not the configured setup that we're going to see when we go live uh, with PeopleSoft. Uh, so I kind of wanted to show walk through um, the elements of the UPK. Now again, this, these will change, the look and feel of it will change as we configure the system and configure the UPK specific to our environment. Uh, but if you're interested in checking out any of the areas, once you come to the UPK site, so let's say for instance you're really interested in the portal, um, you can basically click the link Interaction Hub for the portal area. And that's going to pull up another page that has um, various aspects of the portal that you can look at. Um, and you can expand or collapse any of these options if you want to look at different options. Um, but we're going to look at, say, working with blogs. And you'll see that there's different, uh, when you expand working with blogs, you've got creating a blog, managing a blog, working with blogs. So it has different sub uh, categories within the main category. If you click on one of those, you're going to see some buttons here at the top. A see it, try it, know it, do it, and print it. So see it basically gives you a screen recording where you can watch. So if we click that button, it's going to open a new page and we're going to see basically kind of a screen recording of how to create a blog. And it's going to automatically kind of go through the processes of creating a blog. And then if we were to move on to say the try it option, this is a little more interactive. So we just press enter to start. And then once we navigate and click on these various elements that it's pointing out, we advance through the topic. And so it's a little more interactive. We get to kind of click on different areas and see different areas, how they work. And then the know it piece uh, really just is kind of like a quiz function, if you will. Um, so it's, it's going to quiz us on, on how we, if we have remembered when we went through the try it or, or the watch it to see if we remembered how to do those things. And so when you mouse over a particular area, it's going to say, yeah, you got it right. And then you need to click on an element to go to the next page. So it's a more inter it's another interactive uh, function of the UPK, but it does quiz you and it kind of gives you a grade at the end on how well you did. And then finally, there's the do it function. Uh, when you click on do it, um, it pulls up a window, which actually kind of walks you through. You kind of navigate through each step of the process uh, to see how 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 the this particular example works. So creating a blog post or creating a blog page. Um, and then the very last thing, of course, is print it. So you can print that information out and have it as a kind of handy manual to refer to. Um, so this is kind of just, a, like I said, a very brief kind of introduction to the user productivity kit. But I encourage you to go out to the site um, and just explore. Uh, if, you're, if you work in, on the student services side, just go into the, the campus solutions area and just kind of start expanding some of those areas and, and take a look and, and, and see how different functionality will work. And again, like I said, this is a, kind of the general setup of PeopleSoft, so it's not our configured instance. That, and so it'll look, our configured instance will look different than this. Um, but they will also be upgrading the UPK once they have done some configuration on our system uh, so that we can see our, what our, envir our actual environment is going to look like. And this also, the UPK system, um, it, it, they'll be able to add more functionality to it and it'll become part of the online training mechanism that we will have uh, in the training step, which is a, a few months prior to our go live date. So this is the UPK. Um, have fun exploring and if you have questions, just let me know.